what's up, beast? Uh, mythical candy here. Um, whew, I think the trickiest part of um, the idea that I came up with um, a week ago um, when we were just chatting um, is now coming up with things to vlog about that don't seem boring or um, whatever. And uh, I had an idea last night and I went to put it in and then I changed my mind about the idea today, deleted it, and I'm starting all over again tonight. So I decided that my vlog topic is going to be about music because we've been discussing a lot about music. Link has been talking a lot about music in his um, listening parties on Saturday evenings, which has become a big part of my Saturday. Um, looking forward to the listening party and hanging out with Link and Britain and being able to absorb the vibe from the music that they recommend and um, my Spotify playlist has grown exponentially since um, that all started. So um, I decided to vlog about uh, my favorite music and um, where it's kind of led me um, through my life. So um, I'm going to show a picture to you of the little girl that I was and the rock and roll chick I became. Um, uh, obviously I don't, rock and roll is just one part of the music that I enjoy. Um, I'm a definitely an 80s rocker chick at heart. Um, love a lot of 80s music and a lot of hair bands and stuff. So I'm going to go through a few of the bands that kind of have touched my life and, and have become a big part of um, making me me. Um, so one of those bands is Bon Jovi. Um, I have had the opportunity to see them twice in concert. Uh, once in 95 and once again oh, a few years ago. Um, and both times they were amazing live. Um, fully, fully enjoyed Bon Jovi, um, one of my favorite bands ever. Um, I grew up, I had their cassette tapes in my Walkman, um, rocking out to Bon Jovi. I had a Bon Jovi poster on my wall, one of my favorite bands. Um, another band that I thoroughly enjoy and highly recommend if you haven't heard them is Electric Light Orchestra. Um, my dad loved Electric Light Orchestra. Um, and it was one of his favorite bands. Um, I totally love how they mix the orchestra with the rock and roll. Um, just amazing, amazing band. If you have a chance to do, do, do check out Yellow. Um, Elvis Presley, again, I mean, he was the king of rock and roll. I'm a big Elvis fan. Um, I grew up, um, my dad once had a Velvet Elvis on the wall. I wish we still had it. <laughs> um... Music is something that I just, it's a part of my daily life. Um, I pop on my music in the car when I'm driving and it just gives me a vibe when I'm driving. Um, I, um, my original vlog yesterday, um, I was talking about how I vibe out to music while I'm doing my sketches and my artwork. It really helps me to get into that zone. Um, and it's actually led to the story that I'm going to talk about and I will share some pictures at the end of this um, of some of the bands I've had the opportunity to meet um, because it led me to one of my favorite jobs that I had and I actually got the job kind of by accident. So a couple of years ago I decided to go back to school. Um, I wasn't sure what to take but I decided to get a career in the medical field, um, which I fully enjoy and I'm still doing. I've had the opportunity to be an essential worker throughout this coronavirus um, and stuff. Um, and it's really taught me a lot. Um, while I was going to school, I had to work part time because my student loan was not sufficient enough to support three people um and obviously I'm a single mom with two teenagers who eat <laughs> um and so one of the jobs I managed to um get was working at a casino not too far away and the casino is they have a showroom and the showroom houses concerts so I got the opportunity to meet bands like um 
I met Ben and Noel Haggard uh, a couple years ago when they played at the casino. Um, I never got the chance to meet Merle, and Merle is another musician who I adored um, and love his music. Um, so that's how I relate to Rhett and Link is through um, Merle Haggard. Um, his music um, and so it was really amazing to be able to meet his sons and listen to them play his music and and stuff um, I've had the opportunity to meet some 80s bands I met um, Mark Slaughter um, so Slaughter is another 80s band I enjoyed um, I've met Lee Aaron she was the metal queen, um, really, really amazing rocker chick. You should really look up her music. Again, highly recommend her. Um, uh, I've had the opportunity to be go to so many different concerts, not just in the showroom, but concerts in general. I've been to Poison, I've been to Def Leppard, I've been to Guns N' Roses, obviously a whole list of 80s rockers. Um, I've been fulfilling my dreams of being able to see them live. Um, and stuff as I get older, my bucket list is, I'm checking things off my bucket list. Um, and um, yeah, I've just had, I've been very fortunate to have the opportunity to really incorporate music and concerts, live music and, and stuff into my life. And so now I want to share some of those pictures with you. So uh, the tail end of this is going to be the story of little me and rocker me and how they come together to um, become the woman that I am. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> 